Welcome back. You are still watching Ways, and we'll be discussing the process of adoption in Lagos State. We're joined by Agnes Feishayo Olaore. She is currently the head of Adoption Unit, Ministry of Youth and Social Development, Alausa. Remember, you can join the conversation by tweeting at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways or SMS 081 803 You can also watch a repeat broadcast on Mondays, Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. Welcome, Mrs. Olaure. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Thank you. Our topic tonight, as you know, is adoption and the taboos. And as the head of the adoption unit in Lagos State, I'll start with my question, which is, what is the process of adopting a child in Nigeria? Understanding that you know it's a sensitive and a, it's a sensitive, sensitive issue, and it's also a lifelong decision for for people. So, what what's that process that is in place? Okay, maybe I should let me start by defining what adoption is. Okay, adoption is a process whereby suitable persons delay legal claims to some categories of, of children. We, they, they don't necessarily have to have a blood relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So those categories of children as we has been listed in the Child Rights Law of Lagos State, okay. Section 118B, those children have to be abandoned, some of them orphaned, mm -hmm. and some of them neglected, as in some of them that have been abused and some have been ill-treated. Those are the categories of children that are given up for, for adoption. adoption in Lagos State. And uh, it's, it's a process that starts from making your intention known to the government by submitting an application letter to the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Social Development at the headquarters at Alausa. Right. After the submission of the application letter, then the adoption officers process the application. The first thing we do after we receive the application is to invite the prospective adopters. But we receive a lot of applications. Right. Sometimes in a year we can have as many as a thousand applications. Wow. In the ministry, if we have, maybe in a day we have about uh, 50 meals, 30 of the meals will be on application adoption. on adoption. adoption. Wow. People so requesting to adopt. How long does this process actually take? 12 months. So it must be a year. From the point of registering From the point of submitting, from the point of submitting your application right. to the time of making an adoption order in the family court. It takes 12 months and mm. it is stipulated in the child's rights. It's statutory. Is it, it, is statutory. is it expensive? It is not expensive. Was the not. range the price range? No, so there's, there's no price. There's no it's, price. It, it, it's what the charge we make is administrative charges. Okay. Not, it's nothing more than that. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. So that. after adoption, actually, no, sorry. After ad adoption, uh, is there some sort of social welfare uh, framework in place to um, assess the children? How they're living with their foster parents or their their adopted or does it end once they've or does adopted it end once they've, leave, they've, they've the adopted them and it, that's it, it. It doesn't end. Right. It is stipulated in the child rights law that adopted children must be supervised, monitored until they are eighteen years old. And they have a oh, register. Wow. Yes. Okay. There is a register at the family court for each adopted child. It has it, it's in the register. And apart from being in the register, we also have a list in the adoption office. Okay. Okay, my question is, um, I've met quite a number of people, and I'm a lawyer, so I've handled some. Okay. So, and I can tell you for free that the process is a bit cumbersome. Why is it so? We're what? encouraging people to adopt, and at the same time, the process is not very welcoming. So, we want to know why. Well, I, I don't I don't see it as being cumbersome. It's thorough, I probably. Yes, very it's, thorough. Yeah. We follow due process in Lagos important. State. Mm. Even the embassies know us. In Nigeria, Lagos State stands out. Okay. Even from the embassies, they come to verify our files yeah. to know 
whether an adoption has actually taken place when people okay. are applying for visa mm -hmm. or they want to you know they, they are traveling and all that yeah. they mm -hmm. come to verify so it's not school but so we are talking about human life absolutely so we must be thorough, thorough. We have, yeah. to, we have to be thorough. But there must Speaking, be some sort okay. of means of making it simplified. So, I, so mm. well, again, and I'll, I'm just going to play the devil's advocate. When mm -hmm. you say it's, cumbers, it's, it's cumbersome, in what sense? Because people, Nigerians don't like to go through processes. You don't like to you know, fulfill. Yeah. It. So I, I, I don't think that it's fair to say the process is cumbersome because you have to do certain things. But maybe, are you saying it's an inefficient process? Because 12 months. No, no. no. It doesn't stop um, at 12 if, months. If, it goes way beyond. If, if I may add so on paper, as well, 12 months. If I may add as well, uh, Professor Shibanjo, the, the current uh, vice president of Nigeria, said this that the, um, the process of um, adoption in Nigeria currently is cumbersome, that it should be simplified. And he said this at, a, at um, Heritage Support Advocacy Group annual um, com conference in Nigeria in 2018. So, well, so she's I think Lagos it's State. essential. She may just assume that it's the it's, same thing as the But you see, I think worldwide, mm -hmm. adoption process is cumbersome. Okay. Because let's, it's a let's, life let's hear, let's changing hear from you, Mrs. situation. Okay. Let's hear you from know, you. Just like I said, that we, we, we are talking about life. Okay. So we go through a lot of processes from adoption, education. We need, we need, to, we need to educate the Do you reject applicants. some people? Yes, we do. Why? What if, are if the we, triggers? If we, if we have to, we do. Because we have requirements. Of course. And if you don't meet them. If you don't meet up with the requirements, then we, you, you will not be approved. Okay, so Can how an well... unemployed... You see, I am okay. sorry. Okay, Can please. an unemployed person adopt? No. Never. Because part of the requirement is that you, you, must, you must have proof of employment. Mm. Because you need to look after the child. You need to look after you the child. You can't look after yourself. Yes. <laughs> if I, so, uh, part of the requirement is you have to submit your statement of account. We need to know that you have funds yeah. coming in, mm -hmm. going out. Okay, if you I'll... have a source of income, uh -huh. you receive salary mm -hmm. or you Sorry. make you mm -hmm. make gains from your business. We need, we need to food. know. How will, you care, how will you cater? Yeah, how absolutely. will you care for the child? Mm -hmm. But what if the person the loses the employment the next day adopt what happened well we may not know we may not know but eventually if but uh, during we, we do we have an after care service check. exactly yes. so yes. we were talking about check. earlier mm -hmm. yes. we have a unit so you have the right to take care. the child so we, away from the person we may not, no, we, not may, we may not away. we can actually empower yes. we also have a, a unit mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. empower families so we can we can still do that to help such now families. a lot of people, a lot of couples actually are not aware. I'm sure you'll be getting more than that one million, one thousand um, applications. Um, applications. You'll be getting up to one million applications. But how do you um, create awareness that oh we have this sort of agency in Lagos State currently? Because a lot of people weren't aware. I wasn't aware. Oh, really? Yes. Well. We we do advocacy. We do enlightenment. We have a we have a unit called the public affairs, you know, a unit. Okay. They do they do all the awareness. Right. They right. do all the awareness. And when we have a adoption education, a lot of people do come in to listen to, you know, the people that we invite to educate people on, ad on adoption. How often a do you have of, seminars like this? How often do you have seminars like this? Quarterly. 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 Okay. So is there a website they can go to to check these things out? Yes. We have we have a website that people can visit. In fact, recently I, I met some clients telling me they've submitted, they, they filled a form online and all that. What we, we need to do more. Mm. We need to do more in that regard. Can okay. a single person adopt? Yes. A single person can adopt. Within an age range, or the child, the person the should be like mm -hmm. 25 if or a single, 50. If a single person is adopting, that single person must be 35 years old and above. And above, yes. Okay. If a 25 year old single person wants to adopt, it, it is not possible, not possible because everything is stipulated in the child's rights law. Okay. So, and you follow it to the letter. We do. So, I, I mean, I think this will be the last question because I haven't got much time. And my question is around your due diligence process. So, how, and this is Nigeria, how do you um, 
identify people's intentions for adopting because I'm not also thinking you know against the backdrop of our social cultural norms where people want to have their own children and then there's this huge um, application for uh, adoption it's almost then like there's some sort of disconnect disconnect right so are you sure that these people actually want to adopt for the purpose of actually being parents or for ill intentions yes. well the the process is put in place for the for adoption in Lagos states mm -hmm. you know we, we take care of we take care of so many things starting from the adoption education after adoption ad, the adoption training mm -hmm. some people will drop some people will drop out mm -hmm. exactly when they now know what they are the requirements. requirements and all that some people will drop out so if you're your then, are not genuine yes <laughs> by the time we finish with the adoption training those people that are ready to follow through they will start coming to the office to submit their documents. So we do a lot of documentations, we do a lot of checks, mm -hmm. we do home assessment, we visit their homes, we, we get letters from, from their places of work, work. telling okay. us that they actually work there and all that. Okay. After that, then we, we set up a panel, we call it adoption panel meeting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So there are some things when uh, there are some things that the adoption officers may not really see. Yeah. At the adoption panel, mm -hmm. we'll a, see a them. lot of things come out. Wow, yeah. a lot of things we. So we, that's the specialty. They have a specialization. Yes, okay. and at the adoption panel meeting, the panelists, we have we have the likes of our honourable commissioner, the permanent secretary, magistrates from the family court. We even have. Uh, police officers from the juvenile welfare center, the specialized police unit that handles matters concerning children. children. They are there. We have uh, some of our uh, child development uh, directors mm -hmm. and some other directors. They ask questions. They go through their briefs. They go through their files to ask questions. So whatever the adoption officers cannot Missed. really, the whatever pick. we miss, yeah. they can yeah, pick it up wow. at the Adoption. So, so have there been situations where you had to retrieve a child from from um, parents that have adopted? Mm. Have you had such situations? Well, I I, I can't remember any on a scale of one okay. to ten. I can't I can't, I can't remember. Yeah. But sometimes we do have failed bonding as a bonding period. Okay. Before we actually Three months. before before the adoption. Uh, order is given at mm -hmm. the family courts. Uh, the child is put with the family for a probationary period of between one month to three months. Mm -hmm. So during that time, we do we do some checks, okay. we visit, right. we interview. We want to know how they are faring. Mm -hmm. If they are doing well, then we go on to the last stage, which is the legalization at the family courts. Wow. But we've had some cases of failed bonding that such children have to be you know retrieved oh thank you thank you very much mr larry this, this session has been very insightful i'm happy to know that you know there's a thorough process in place to make sure that you know children are placed in the right homes yes. and you know things are done properly so i appreciate your your time um i don't know if you ladies have anything i think the, what i've actually learned from this is that it's not that it's cumbersome the fact is that it's being Just thorough, thorough. And so it's, at the yeah. end of the day is, is to actually make sure that the people that are actually taking the children the in are Sweet capable yes they're capable Thank Fantastic. you. Thank you so much. Thank You're you welcome. for coming. Ma. Thank welcome. you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. So it's been an insightful conversation. Uh, please keep the conversations on our social media platforms as we continue to hear what you are saying. In case you missed today's quote, here it is again. God knew that it doesn't matter how your children get to the family. It just matters that they get there. That's by Kira Mastan Sam. Do enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you for joining us. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.